wanted to take you guys through a bit of a how-to on how to bend and fabricate some sheet metal without a metal brake press. This means that you guys will be using simple materials and simple tools without the expensive pricey metal brake press in order to get some nice clean bends in aluminum or thin sheet steel. So without further ado, let's dive into it. I'm gonna show you guys what I use material wise first, and then I will show you guys how to bend up a piece of aluminum sheet. Let's do it. So guys, in order to get this job done, you will need some very simple things. You guys can get some steel sheet. This can be either 1 8 or 3 16 you know, kind of whatever you guys have lying around. A piece of angle iron. You guys will want some vice clamps, some C clamps, an angle finder. You guys will obviously need a cut disc in order to cut the aluminum, you know, or cut the steel into whatever template that you need. And then from there, you guys are gonna make your bend. So on the workbench here, guys, right now, I have a piece of aluminum sheet that I am going to be bending up. As you guys can kind of see here, I have the lines in which I'm gonna be making two bends. This is actually gonna be uh, for the inner fender in the rear of the buggy. Uh, if you guys wanna see more on that, definitely be sure to check out some of my last videos that will basically cover a lot of that. But anyway into this so basically what you want to do is you will take your sheet you will come over here you will sandwich it between your piece of angle iron and your steel plate and you guys will you know clamp it down you guys might need to you know change angles or maybe move it over to the edge depending on the bends that you're going to make you don't want it to come in contact with anything so that's you know kind of where you get creative with what you are bending um, and how many bends that you are putting into a piece of sheet so Nice and easy for me, I only have two bends. Um, I know the angles that I need to bend them to. Um, so definitely suggestion is whatever you're gonna bend, make a cardboard template, you know, throw it in, get your angles, get your measurements, and then come over here and make your bends. Cause once you bend it, you can't unbend it. All right guys, so I have my piece of aluminum all clamped down and ready to go. Make sure that you guys take into account that you're gonna be putting some light pressure down onto the aluminum sheet as you're bending it. You know, so make sure that your plate is clamped down to the table, make sure that your angle iron is clamped down to the aluminum sheet, to the plate, to the table, so that nothing is gonna kinda pop or come loose or impede with any of your bends. Obviously, you wanna check angles and make sure that you're bent, as you're bending, you're not gonna come in contact with anything. So I know here, I'm gonna bend along this line, which means it's gonna kind of bend inward. So this whole piece is gonna swing in. I don't want my clamp to like stick out this way and to come in contact. So all little factors that you guys need to kind of take into account as you guys are gonna be bending whatever it is that you guys kind of have going on in your shop. Um, and then, like I said, you know, depending on the bends, you know, you might be using different sections of the table. You have to flip the sheet. So you guys will have to get creative. That part, I can't tell you exactly how to do because each project is going to be nice and unique. So I'm going to show you guys how to bend now. So your best friend with doing this is going to be three things. Patience, light pressure down on the aluminum sheet with one of your hands, and then a rubber mallet. And basically what you'll do is as you're putting pressure down on the sheet, you're gonna take the rubber mallet and you guys are going to basically gently tap along that line right where the angle iron is. And as you're putting that pressure, it's gonna keep the seam nice and tight. It's gonna make a nice even bend. And then, you know, just use your angle finder and make sure you guys just check your angles to make sure that, you know, you don't overbend. Um, so my suggestion is, is, you know, underbend, test fit it, bend a little bit more, and then, you know, that way you kind of get it right in the spot that you guys need. So anyway, as I said, guys, light pressure, you know, kind of on the higher side of what you guys are gonna do, and then just take your mallet and just start gently. Going along that bend. bending then you can actually start hitting inward a little bit and that'll tighten things up tremendously for you
first side is bent. Um, I got the angle that I needed to, which on this particular piece was 64 degrees. Um, obviously this uh, sheet of aluminum has a protective film on it. Recommend obviously keeping that on so that way when you're done, um, you don't have like scuff marks. For me, uh, I'm not too worried about that because I'm gonna lightly sand it down anyway. Uh, just for me, you know, aluminum and you know, bare as it is, it picks up a lot of glare. So if you sand it down a little bit, it minimizes that. So not too worried, but if you guys obviously, you know, need to keep it, you know, shiny sheen, you know, maybe you wanna maybe wrap your mallet, maybe put some, you know, kind of like tape uh, on the aluminum that you're gonna be kind of banging on, just anything to kind of keep it from scuffing, scratching, you know, whatever it is, depending on the job that you are doing. I'm gonna take this out of kind of the clamp vise that I have set up. I'm gonna bend the other side and I will show you guys the end results. So there you have it guys. Two bends, top bend, side bend, the angles that I need. And this thing will make a pretty nice inner fender. I'll show you guys real quick just so you guys can kind of see that, you know, this actually works and it does fit up. Um, just to kind of give you guys, you know, like a close up, you know, the bends are nice and sharp. They are nice and tight, you know, all the way around through and through, um, you know, like I said, it might not definitely be the cleanest, you know, obviously if you have a brake press, you get a nice seam, pull it down or you use a hydraulic jack and you know, you get everything that you need to the first shot. Nice, but this works guys, you know, a little bit of patience, a little bit of sort of muscle and you know, all that fun stuff and you guys can get the job done. Anyway, this is what it looks like. So fits in the area that I need to just fine. I'm gonna throw some tabs on there, obviously to gap that seam a little bit, you know, pull everything in nice and tight. Anyway guys, I hope that may have been helpful for you guys. Like I said, it's pretty simple to do. You just need a good amount of patience, you know, and I fully understand that there are specific tools and things that you guys can purchase to make your life simpler. If you guys are doing this every single day and you guys are doing nothing but bend and sheet, bend and sheet, definitely invest and get one of those. But you know, for me, or if you're doing it every once in a blue moon, this works just fine. You know, obviously I'm gonna use a little bit more of my time, but it's all good, save my money, put that money towards something else. I hope this sort of tutorial was helpful or useful to you guys. If it was, definitely be sure to give this video a like, definitely be sure to subscribe to this channel so you guys can keep up to date with the fabrication projects that I have going on, maybe some DIYs, um, some reviews on tools or things that I like to use around the shop. But anyway, thanks for stopping by. God bless and have a great day.